Lent Day 22. God is always speaking to us. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is majestic. Psalm 29, 4. Quick view. There was an old advertising logo that went, When E.F. Hutton talks, people listen. Let's get real. When God talks, you better listen. Question. How do I know if it's God's voice? We have the Bible as our reference to who he is, especially through Jesus' words. If you are not sure if it's God's voice, check out your Bible and see if what he is telling you is consistent with what is there. God does not do or say anything that is out of his character. Application I experienced one of those embarrassing moments at church this past Sunday. I used my older BlackBerry phone in church to reference Bible passages used during the sermon. After the sermon, I put the phone in my pocket. We then walked up to take communion and return to our seats. That was followed by a song and a solemn prayer. When the prayer started, I could hear someone's phone talking. It was annoying. It was my phone. The Bible application on my phone has a button to push to have it read out loud. Somehow, with all of the movement, the Bible got, the button got pushed, and now someone with a voice like James Earl Jones was reading scripture while the rest of the church was quiet in prayer. Of course, I did what anyone would do in these circumstances. I panicked. No matter what button I pushed, nothing happened. Actually, taking it out of my pocket made it even louder. Heads were bobbing up, and they were being pointed to me. I even tried to take the battery out, but was shaking so bad that I couldn't take the cover off. Finally, my daughter Christina was able to push the right button to temporarily silence it. When the prayer ended... And the people looked up to see the culprit. I calmly said, well, at least it was scripture. Isn't that the way it is with us and God? When we want him to talk to us, it's, it is perfectly okay as long as he says what we want to hear. But if he is talking to us at a time when we don't want to hear him, or he says something that we don't want to hear, then we want to turn him off as passionately as I try to do that with my phone. God does not speak to us because it is for his benefit. He does it because it is for our benefit. God doesn't worry about hurting our feelings. He wants to tell us what's best for us. We are the ones building that wall. Many times we even know what he is going to say, but we don't want to hear it because it's a smoother route for us to go down a different path. God is like my phone. He won't stop coming at us. He's doing this because he loves us. When God speaks to you, listen. Not only listen, but follow what he is saying to you. It may not be the easy path, but it is his path and one that will always that will always be better for you. Also remember to silence your phones in church. God, you are the voice of truth. You speak to me when I don't even deserve your attention. You speak to me when I don't listen or even want to listen. Help me to be attentive to your loving words. Allow your Holy Spirit to open my heart to allow your words to change me.